Hi guys, here is Henry. I'm living 100 kilometers north from Fukushima Daiichi in Japan. I'm reflecting on the nuclear crisis, which are right now in Japan, because my life and life of my family was affected by it. I have two small kids and I'm living here already 12 years. Uh, I would like to share with you one article, which is down in the explanation blog. Uh, uh, this news is about the beef, the contaminated beef. You, you all know, you know, that Japan had a huge problem with the contaminated beef, beef which was sold all over the Japan. And, uh, well, consumer bought it and ate it. But uh, we were just told today that actually it was uh, used also in the schools for the kids' lunches. So, uh, what happened, you know, in Miyagi, in Miyagi, in some schools, you know, they used this meat. I think this was before they actually knew it was contaminated. Anyways, uh, this is the way how the Japanese protecting the own people, how the Japanese government is reflecting on the on the disaster which right now happened uh, which is quite slow and they right now they admitted you know they don't have enough uh, measure machines for uh, radiation for the food radiation now is coming the harvest of the rice and uh, it is big trouble you know to, to measure all from all of the parts of Japan all rice in very quick time they can measure it, but it will take time because there is not enough uh, measure machines for the food. So the kids were eating kare, where was the beef? Uh, they saying uh, it shouldn't cause any problem to the health, any immediate health uh, problems. Now, they uh, were serving very small portions of the beef and uh, this is it I mean uh, my one of my co-workers sent his family to Kyushu to protect his family because uh, the school refused his uh, request to do own food for their children you know in Japan you have to eat with all kids in the class and uh, you know, when everybody does this, you have to do it also. You have to sacrifice. So, uh, he was not allowed to do his own uh, food, so he sent small kids with his wife to another city. Uh, actually, this could happen also in Kyushu, in uh, Osaka, in other mo much more far away places which are already 700 kilometers far away because uh, the meat was spread in all Japan that time and was sold in all Japan so actually you cannot protect yourself by leaving the place anyway uh, I hope this will change the policy of the schools and will allow the parents to make their own food for the kids. This is also one of small reasons why we don't want to put right now our kids to the preschools because uh, you know you have to you have to accept the food from uh, the organizations and you are never know from where the food is coming on. Of course this is a local food so we are quite close to the Fukushima so I prefer, you know, to to keep my kids close and uh, to see how the situation will develop with the food around uh, this re region. Uh, when I'm when I was talking about Kyushu yesterday, there was a, on the TV very sad uh, interview with one woman. Uh, she gave birth. Of her child in Koryama, which is very close, 60 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi, two days after the big earthquake, March 11. So it was, I think, 12. After the nuclear crisis started, immediately she left with her husband and her two kids. 
uh, to Kyushu. And uh, what uh, happened, you know, uh, they uh, had to evacuate, actually. They were living very close. They had to evacuate, but they, they are not going to get any compensation because they, they left before any orders uh, were given, you know, for evacuation. So she cannot get any compensation because she left on her own. She didn't wait for the government decision. Uh, yesterday, the, the Japanese government tried to make rules who is going to get compensations and who is not going to get compensations uh, for uh, the nuclear crisis. And uh, I think many parents reacted very correct. And uh, if they get money or not get money, I just would like to let them know that they did the right thing for their children and uh, when they don't get any compensation it is shame but this can happen to all of you in your countries which are very far away from here if such a nuclear crisis would come your governments are not ready for this kind of disaster the Japanese government is absolutely not ready for this kind of disaster they don't have enough machines to check the radioactivity in the food and they handle very slow the whole crisis and the Japan is one of the most uh, incredible countries I mean safe country quick country and very comfortable country and uh, look at what happened in this kind of country so ask yourself what would happen in your country and uh, make your decisions with the nuclear energy I think nuclear energy is completely wrong. We had to stop it by step by step and uh, find new resources in the meantime. Uh, thank you for watching until the end and uh, uh, simply I am shocked what happened in the schools. Bye guys.